Now for the show that's truly too hot to handle. It's the melting pack, and it starts right now. You're listening to the melting pack. Here's your host, Pat Johnson. Well, thank you, Jerome. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the show, The Melting Pat. Today's a bonus, bonus day, because I'm either not here or someone's here, and I'd rather not, meaning someone's here watching the kid, because uh, cause my son's mom went somewhere, and I don't want to sit down here screaming at myself for an hour like a psycho, or however long the show would be, uh, while someone who I may not know that well is upstairs. So... We're doing this ahead of time, so today you get three bonuses that were Patreon exclusives, and I decided, well, I could probably use these. And um, if you'd like to hear more bonus segments and see me, potentially, in the uh, sweet headband, then head on over to patreon.com slash the melting pat and uh, sign up there. It's five bucks a month. You get bonus stuff. And you get the show a couple days early, and I'll throw in some other exclusives if you want to chat with me or whatever. I don't know what else I'll throw in there, but... I'll add in some exclusives just for you because you're giving me your money, and I do appreciate it. So let me know what's going on over there. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do two things here, by the way. I'm going to record once and do all the ending stuff, and then just the three segments with a little sounder in between, probably, I don't know, the can or the pooper, I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't have time to record two things. So we'll do it all now. So the three things you're going to hear, they were recorded on three different platforms, um, the first one is a retail story from when was that? I don't, I should have written down the episodes, but anyway, you're getting a retail story, um, a story from our vacation and, uh, some terrible advice that I saw on Twitter. I thought I was going to add a fourth one, but I don't want to. So there you go. Sign. It was going to be the Brett Favre thing. So sign up for the Patreon and, uh, listen to episode, whatever that was, 393 or something, um, that was the bonus there if you want to hear about that. Maybe I should pull that out and put it separately. Maybe I will. Anyway, maybe that'll be the bonus for today. No, I don't know when this is coming out, but hope you're well. Hope you're doing all right. So the retail story was recorded uh, through OBS. The vacation story was recorded through Riverside. There's some clicking in there that I could not get rid of. And the uh, the advice story thing from uh, from Twitter is was recorded on Soundtrap before I realized that there was compression on the uh, on the vocal track, so it's going to be very different. Um, all of the audio things are very; they sound very different. And yeah, I don't know. I, I'm still trying to figure out the best platform to actually record video where the audio doesn't suck. So yeah, OBS was uh, not great. Riverside is iffy, and um, well, Soundtrap doesn't do video as of yet. So sorry about that. But you'll get three bonuses, some sounders in between, and then. My little, my little thing at the end. So yeah, no song today because it's not fair. I won't be really be in the show to promote it. So I don't think it's fair to do that to somebody. So um, yeah, three bonuses, retail story, vacation story, and uh, some just God awful advice I saw on Twitter. God, that guy, the, the guy who shared that was just so confident that was a good idea and it wasn't. Um, I don't, I wish I could remember the, the bathrooms or the uh, vacation story is gross. FYI, and the retail story is, damn, I did. <laughs> so I edited this like a week and a half ago, and uh, I do not remember what the retail story is. So we're gonna all be surprised when we listen to the show later, and uh, and that's that. All right, we're good, great. Again, don't know when this is coming out. Hope whatever you have going on is great. Um, yeah, that's all. So three segments, they all sound different. Patreon.com/slash the melting pad if you want to hear and see more bonus stuff from me and let me know what you'd like to see in here on there. All right. All right. The meltingpat.com for all of my stuff. There is a network tab. Go check those out and uh, tell them I sent you or don't do whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, we're good. I'm over at the melting pat and that is all. So whatever you have going on today, this week, tomorrow, whenever you're doing things, if you had something yesterday, hope it was great. Uh, just have a good time. All right. I'll come back whenever with a real show. I don't know when, but we're all going to be fine. All right. Thanks for being here. I love you. Uh, just go have fun. Okay. Have fun. Be safe. Thank a veteran. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Get vaccinated and boosted when you can. Reminds me, I got to go get mine. Um, and of course, don't do anything I wouldn't do. This has been an eight boy in the production and you've been inside the Melting Pat on the Next Level Network. Go crap open a cold one. 
here's more me. Thanks. So your bonus today is a retail story that I, I mentioned on uh, on Facebook on Mother's Day, but I don't think I ever told this story on the show. And I figured why not entice people who like the retail stories to give me $5 so they can hear it and see all this stuff. As I scratch the back of my neck, my skin is dry as man. Oh, I got some lotion. I should probably, should I apply lotion right now on the on the thing? Um, no, uh, that Pat, don't be weird about it. All right, all right, whoa, okay. So I mentioned this story on Facebook on Mother's Day. And this guy, I'm going to expand on it here. This guy came in and I was, I remember I was helping another customer at the time look for something. It was Mother's Day weekend or thereabouts, somewhere close to Mother's Day. Um, or was, you know what, maybe I'm misremembering the time of year. But anyway, it was somewhere, some time when it wasn't super busy, but like it kind of was. The fact that like everyone was at the register and I, that's why the guy was mad. Because everybody was working the register because his lines were kind of long. And I was on the floor helping a customer. And then he came up to me because I was the only one out on the floor because everyone else was busy either in the back getting something or on the register. So I am helping somebody else. And this guy has got to be like in his 40s, right? And at the time, I'm, you know, what, 24, 25, however old I was, 20, no, younger than that, 23, probably, whatever. And so this guy's got to be like 40. And so I'm just looking I'm like, I'm helping a, another customer. And I can hear the guy going behind me, like, you know, tapping his foot, like, oh, oh, and then he said like under his breath, he's like, what, does anybody else work here? And I'm just like, all right. And I, I kept my cool somehow with helping this woman find something. I forget. Um, we did find it. Cause I remember she was very appreciative and wanted to like leave a good survey for me. I don't remember she did that, but so I, I turn around, I'm like, Hey man, how's it going? How can I help you? And he, he looks at me and he's like, oh man, finally, what the, what's going on here? I was like, well, sir, we're a little busy. Sorry about that. But you know, how can I help you? What are you looking for? And he was looking for, I don't know, something. He's like, I need something for my mom. I'm like, okay, what is, you know, and then not to put, like I put, I feel like I put middle-aged women on a, in a weird general thing. So let me do it to the men too. When guys come in and ask for stuff at the store, right? They're very general. They're never really specific about what, and I, I liken this too, to like, not just asking for gifts for family members, but it's more with, you know, on administrative, administrative professionals day, formerly secretary's day. Now they, they upgraded you, I guess, um, which is great. I don't, I have no problem. Give, give yourself a title. Good for you. So it's generally stuff like that where somebody they don't know very well. Like I've had people come in and like, Oh, what are we looking for? I need something for, you know, secretary's day. All right. Do you know what they're into? What they the kind of stuff they like, where they like to go, whatever, maybe gift card or something like that. And they're like, ah, and you could tell that like, this is someone who, you know, just passes them on the way to get while they're getting their coffee or when they're coming in or whatever. And so they don't know them at all, but they know like, Hey, I should get them a gift. It's going to look bad if I don't. Right. So there's that kind of thing. But this guy was looking for something for his mom or his sister or both or something. And he's like, Oh, I need a gift for these, you know, for these people. I'm like, okay, you know, generally, what are they into? What are they, I mean, we have a variety of stuff, but I, you know, not everybody's going to like it. So like, do they, we had wine glasses, do they drink wine? Do they like these little weird figurines with no faces? Do they like these little precious moments, things that are creepy as hell? Um, and he's just like, oh, well, uh, and he like, couldn't give me an answer. And he's like, you know what? Uh, you know, they like kind of this stuff over here. He pointed to some weird place in the store. I could think just to get away from me. And so he just walked, he's like, all right, I'll, I'll find something. I'll let you know if I need help. I said, okay. So then like 15 minutes later, I, I had moved to the register because somebody went on lunch. And so here he comes again. So he like, I don't know what he wanted to find, uh, what he thought he was going to find, but he came up with a couple of cards and some little knickknack. And, um, it ended up being the total ended up being like 12 bucks. And I'm like, okay, great. I mean, you know, the thought that counts, I guess, but. I mean, that, I would think that for me, like, I don't give a how much you spend on me. You don't have to spend anything at all. Just come hang out for a little while and, you know, say hi to the kid or whatever. But, uh, but I'm a man and men are by virtue simpler and they're sometimes in terms of gift receiving and gift expectations. So, um, yeah, I was watching that judge, judge Steve Harvey. Oh, that judge Steve Harvey. And the mom was like, oh, they're behind on birthday or mother's day gifts. I'm like, yeah, f you. Anyway, I love that show. It's such trash but i love it so this guy comes up and he puts all his stuff down and he's just like sourpuss like 
I guess Maddie had to come to the store and now I'm ringing him up and he gives me his credit card and it's not signed. And I said, Hey man, you have ID. I can't take this if it's not signed. And he goes, he's just like, Oh, I left it in the car. I said, all right, well, uh, I can hold this stuff here behind the counter. And then, you know, when you come back and when you're ready, we can do that. Cause I mean, your card, it says it on there, not valid unless signed. And I like, I don't know that this is you. And he's, and he's just like, he's, frustrated right he's all by the whole experience and now there's one more thing that he's mad about that he can't finish the deal and he goes i'm just trying to buy a gift for da, da, da. i'm like i understand that sir but you know if i run this through and it's not you then i've just helped you commit fraud and i'm not doing that and which i've had to say a lot in my line in that line of work which is insane but he's like oh and he <laughs> For some reason, my mom was in the store. I think we were going to dinner or we were going somewhere and she was picking me up after my shift and she was in the store just kind of milling about waiting for me to get done. I was going to be done in like five minutes. And the guy was just like, oh man, would your mom be proud of you if she saw you doing this right now? Or how would your mom feel if you if she saw you acting like this? And I said, well, sir, I'm doing my job, first of all. And second of all, my mom's right over there. So you can go over and ask her how she thinks uh, that I'm dealing with you right now, a very frustrated and rude customer. And he just like somehow, and I know that it sounds, it seems like I would never say those words in that order, but when I would get kind of miffed with a customer in front of me, I generally, that somebody did a joke about it. I think Mark Cooper did a joke about it years ago, where when people get in trouble, they, their vocabulary increases tenfold. And I think that's how it was with me when guys, because I knew I couldn't tell this guy to f himself, right? Because I was on the clock and, you know, you don't want to lose your job, right? Especially if there's something dumb like this for 12 bucks or whatever it was. So I knew I couldn't say that, but I was just like, all right, you know, sir, you can ask her how I'm dealing with you, how, how she thinks I'm dealing with you. She's right over there. And he just, he looks over and I don't remember if my mom waved because I just, I knew that if I had looked over and seen her make any kind of gesture, I don't even know if she heard me, I don't remember, but. I knew that if I had seen her make any kind of gesture that I would have started laughing and that would have made everything, that would have made everything like 20 times worse. So I decided, all right, this guy's already pissed off. Let me just like, hey, there's, let me just like throw a, a snide, sarcastic <laughs> joke at him and see what happens. And he's like, oh, well, so he turned around to look and I'm just like, I have his stuff in his bag. I got my, it's ready. I have his credit card in my other hand. And I'm just looking, just waiting for this guy to, to make a move. Like, what's he going to do? And, um, he's just good. Oh, oh, oh. And he pulls out his wallet and throws, you know, $13 at me or $15 and says, ah, keep it. And then leaves. <laughs> like he didn't, <laughs> he didn't want his change. He didn't want anything. He was just like, I'm done with you. And, um, sorry if you heard a lot of me that I forgot to turn down my speakers. I didn't put my headphones on cause I'm supposed to cut my hair later. I know the headband's not helping, but. Um, I'm supposed to cut my hair later. Whoa. And, um, and I'm trying to not mat it down as much. So I don't know if that's going to help or not, but, oh man. Yeah. That guy, Jesus Christ. He was like, oh, how would your mom feel about this? I'm like, oh, she's right there, man. You could talk to her. <laughs> he was so pissed off. He just threw money at me and left. Didn't even care about G. Like he was done with that interaction from the moment he saw me and started talking to me. He was done with me. Little did we did either of us know it was going to turn into a story like that. So there you go. That is your bonus for today. <laughs> I will uh, probably pull this out and put this in a regular episode at some point, but I got to put something in here to incentivize people to join, right? Like seeing me awkwardly look at the camera in a, in a headband that makes me look ridiculous. I don't know that that's enough. So now I could say, hey, people who like retail stories, here's an exclusive bonus for you today. So you're... Bonus. You got a bit of a double bonus today. Um, so I mentioned that we went on vacation and we'll get to more of that in the regular show here. But uh, your bonus today, we were so there was a playground not far from where the condo was, where we were staying. And so we went there. Of course, if you don't know, we have a one year old. So we're like, OK, like the boardwalk was really far away. And so we decided, well, he needs something to do. So there's a playground right near there. And so he loved that, running around, doing all that <laughs> So um, they also had picnic benches, picnic tables, benches, whatever you want to call them. And so that's where we would have lunch or dinner most of the time. So we go over there, and the 
we were there for having dinner one night. Like we went to Wawa or the pizza place or something and we're having dinner one night and like we're sitting outside the picnic table outside on the picnic tables, which is outside the bathroom at this playground. We hear a, a girl tell her friends, Hey, tell them I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. So then a few minutes later, we hear the girl's mom go in. So, oh, you know what, whatever her name was, are you in here? And she's like, yeah. And the mom's like, okay, well, next time uh, go before we leave. So we don't have to pee in this gross place. Cause you should hold it till you get home. So you don't have to go in public. Cause it's gross. Now, Lady, I understand. Public bathrooms are <laughs> disgusting. I get it. I under, like that part of it. Fine. Understand 100%. But you can't tell a kid not to go, like you can't say, "Hey, hold it till we get home." Because let's say, all right, let's go with this scenario real quick. Say they leave to the to go to the park at 12 and the kid goes to the bathroom. This doesn't line up with the timing of when we were there, but just go with it. So the kid, they go at, the kid goes at 12, they go to the playground and then it's like three. So the kids, they're, like, they're not done at the playground, whatever's going on. And you're not ready to go home because maybe you're chatting with your friends or whatever you're doing. So the kid's going to have to go to the bathroom, right? So, so like, what are you going to do? You're going to take her home. You're going to say, no, wait, we're not done yet. And what if you're there for another hour and a half? So, so you're going to make your kid who's like eight or nine or younger, maybe hold her stuff in. Like, that's how you get infections. Like, that's not, I, the part of it that I'm fine with that I understand is that public bathrooms are disgusting because they are, they honestly are, they're f gross. And, uh, and I'm with you on that. I really am. However, comma, I can't roll with you on like telling your kid not to pee because that's, that's gross. Like, that's how you get infections and how you get sick and how you get all kinds of stuff that you can avoid by just going to the bathroom. Because it's there for you to use. Is it disgusting? Yes. Does it smell bad? Of course it does. Public bathroom. But it's just a weird. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but you know, playing in on the playground is going to make you thirsty. Or you know, you play and then you get and then you drink some water or whatever. You're going to be thirsty and you're going to have to pee again. So you can't expect a kid to hold it for four or five hours just because you don't want them to use a public bathroom, right? No matter what your concerns are, the first concern is the kid going to the bathroom and they have to go to the bathroom, right? Because it's either that or they go in their pants and then you have a new situation, right? That you could have all could have avoided by just telling the kid to go to the bathroom, right? Am I making sense here? I don't know. Uh, it's just like, come on, man. And well, come on, whoa, man, I guess specifically, come on, whoa, man, in this situation. It's just like, like, no, like, don't pee here. Go before we leave so you don't have to pee here. Like, that's not, that's, I, I don't get it. If kids got to go. You don't tell them not to go. So just like, come on, goddamn lady. There, you can tell this is not being censored because I'm really letting it fly. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, some lady decided that her, her kid, uh, her kid should not be going to the bathroom when they have to go to the bathroom because reasons you should have gone before we left, which again, like, yes, you should go before you leave the house, but you know, if you're out for a couple hours, you're going to have to go again, right? Or if you have, you know, whatever is going on with you, you're going to have to, like, there's a point where you're going to have to go again and you can't always be at home to go, right? I don't like going to public bathrooms either because they're gross, but, you know, you got to go, you got to go. Holding it is not going to help, especially uh, holding it at number two. <laughs> yeah, so, again, I'm no expert, but um, generally when the kid has to go, you let them go to the bathroom. But your bonus for today, I saw this and I was going to make this part of the show, but then I thought it'd be a little so I decided not to. Um, I saw this on Twitter and it was this guy and I didn't write down the the handle or whatever, but it's on my Twitter. I, whatever. I'll put it in the uh, on the post. I'll share. I'll try to share it. So this guy suggested, oh, if you're 16 to 24 years old, you're looking for a way to get ahead, uh, like jumpstart your career, whatever it was. And he suggested... He's like, go buy some coffee and get some disposable cups and find a nice-ish neighborhood nearby and go on a Saturday morning, just start knocking on doors and ask people, hey, my name is uh, whatever my name is. I'm this old. I'd like to know what you do for work. Like, I'm trying to get a jump start on my career and stuff. Can I talk to you for a few minutes about what you do? And I... 
this is awful advice. Like, I, there's no other way for me to just come out and say it. Is that this is horrendous advice? I don't know what who thinks this is good advice. And I scrolled the thread, and some people do, which is f strange to me because this is horrible. This is awful advice. Don't. Okay, so let's. So the guy eventually, the guy whoever it was said. Um, it's more about being creative and like, you're going to stand out more. I'm like, yeah, it's great. But also I don't give a f Like if somebody's coming knocking on my door on a Saturday, I don't give a f I'm not going to answer the door, first of all. And I'm not going to give you like free advice, random, like to a strange kid, certainly not drinking your coffee. But anyway, um, even before COVID, like this is awful advice. First of all, going to a stranger's house unannounced, just showing up with coffee that's already made. You don't know what's in it have no idea what's uh, what's been in that coffee. You don't know who this person is or what their real motive is. And I know that's kind of maybe a little paranoid, but it's something you can't ignore either, right? And you're going on a weekend for a lot of people. Saturday or Sunday is their only day off. And like for me, Saturday and Sunday, like morning to early afternoons are Arthur and dad day. And so like I like nothing going on outside matters to me. On weekends, it's just me and the kid. Unless he and I are outside, doesn't matter to me at all. So don't come knocking on my door at any point. How about that? So you're asking for free career advice on a Saturday morning, bringing coffee to a neighborhood where you don't live. That's the second thing here in a nicer neighborhood nearby. So not in your own neighborhood. He didn't suggest that. Pick a nice ish neighborhood nearby. That's so dangerous. That is so dangerous and irresponsible to suggest. And the worst we're going to get to maybe the worst part in a second. So especially if you're a woman or person of color, like here's someone I don't know who doesn't live here. I've never seen this person before. Probably you're knocking on my door on a Saturday morning with coffee, asking to be invited into my home to talk about my work. No, there are so many red, like if I'm answering the door in this scenario, there are so many red flags, some, so many things wrong with this. And I just like, I don't know, man. And like the third thing here, I'm, I'm, I, I just don't like every time I, I think about this, my brain just fires in so many different directions and all of them point to the same thing and that this is horrible advice. Don't do this. Like people don't want to randomly talk about their work on a Saturday morning to a stranger and like, what the, why, why, why? And here's the, maybe the worst part about this, and I'll get to some actual good advice in a second, but this person who suggested this has not even tried this. Like, doesn't know anybody who's tried this and just like, oh, my guess is you'd have convers you'd have like 10 or 15 conversations, or my guess is you'd be able to do this. And then you, you know, take notes and uh, follow up uh, by email and try to get, you know, connected that way. So this person's not even tried this, has not even tested out the fact that, hey, this is dangerous and stupid. Uh, nope, just here, try this. It's creative. You're thinking outside the box and, oh, I didn't think about how uh, how dangerous this could be and how weird it is to have a stranger come to your house on a weekend and try to invite themselves in during a pandemic. And uh, I, I just don't, don't do this. Do not do this. All right. If you want to do what I do, you probably don't. But if you do, send me an email. And we'll set up a lunch thing. We'll set up a, actually very likely it's going to be a virtual call because the timing is just going to work better for me that way. Scheduling and all that. I have a one-year-old if you don't know. Um, I just think this is just a horrible idea. Just absolutely terrible. Do not knock on random strangers' doors asking about their work because you don't even know that they do what you want to do. And so like both of you are kind of cold called into this. So the person answering the door is completely ambushed. And you're just like, hey, what do you do? And you're like, oh, I, uh, I, I work in IT. Like, oh, I don't want to do that. So then you're wasting everyone's time. And I don't know, like find people who know, who do what you want to do and reach out to them directly. That's what you do. All right. If you, if you think that you want to work for the man like I do, send me an email, send me a text through the website. There are plenty of options to, to get in touch with me there and do it that way. Reach out, find people who, there are plenty of subreddits around that will have people who work in the field you want to go into, or at least learn more about. Reach out to them that way. Do not cold call people by showing up at their houses and uh, with coffee 
already made and expect to have a conversation. That's insane. This is horrible advice. Do not do this. Do, just don't. Don't do it. Don't, this is terrible. Like, yes, oh, it's about being creative. Yeah, it's creative. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. It's a horrible idea. Don't do it. Do not. Send emails. Find the things. The LinkedIn is good for this, right? Isn't that what LinkedIn is for? Finding people who, uh, who do what you'd like to do. So there you go. Handle it that way. Do not go to a stranger's house and talk to them about their work. Do not do that. Don't, don't you, oh my God, what a stupid, oh my gosh, that's terrible. That is a terrible idea and, uh, and don't do it. So there you go. There's your, I don't know. There's your bonus for today. Just, I saw that tweet and the fact that people were agreeing with it made it seem, made it so much worse for me because in no way is that a good idea. Hey, hey, Flyers fans, Mark back at you again with another Flyers. Ooh, dude, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Guys, your Flyers haven't been as bad as before. I don't know. Take solace in the wins that when you can get them, I guess. So let's dive right into this recap. So last Saturday, Flyers taking on the Devils at home ended up losing that game three to two hard fought game the devils are no joke this year they are a good team flyers hung in there but it just wasn't going to be done that night but the flyers followed up monday night at home they're taking on the avalanche now the avalanche not what they once were but the flyers ended up taking a five to three victory from them on monday night then followed it up with a loss to the capitals at home four to one on wednesday Flyers heading on a road trip. They're going to Vegas on Friday to take on the Golden Knights. Sunday, they're in Phoenix. Tuesday, they're in Colorado with another matchup. So, as I said, the Flyers snapped their 10-game losing streak. The last update I was able to give you. And the Flyers, hey, they won one out of three. So, we'll take the wins where we can get them. The Flyers are young, as we have said. Carter Hart not as stellar as he once was earlier in the season, but he's doing the best he can. He's trying to keep this team moving. The Flyers are still missing goal scoring, though. As you can see, scores matter. You got to have that pure scorer. You have to have it. You, you, you have to. But John Torrella keeping this young team together. Credit to him. Credit to the young core there. Just keeping it going. Grind, grind, grind. Be professional. Get the experience and let's see what they can do. So guys, that's it for me here inside the Melting Pad on Next Level Radio. Hey, I got a question, Noam. What's up? Why is this all decorated and fancy around here? What's going on? That's because we're promoting our heavy holiday home down on December 17th. Yeah. You're gonna wanna be there. There's gonna be live music from yours truly. It's gonna be upstairs, we're building a venue. We're gonna have our light show. Uh, we're gonna have a XXX rated Christmas cookie that's a lot decorating contest. Ugh. That's three X's, and uh, that's gonna be great. Make your nastiest, funniest uh, candy cane into a snowman's mouth with some white frosting design. Cash prizes for whoever makes the best one. Uh, there's gonna be free beer, free hard seltzer, free wine, free food. Damn, that's be great. That's a party all in one, man. And mom's homemade chocolate chip cookies. You can't beat that. Can't if you're not going to come for the music or the free food and the free liquor, you got to come for the cookies. They are worth it. Oh, my God. Mm. So damn good. Be there December 17th, 6.30. Ticket link below. It's going to sell out, so you gotta have to, you're going to have to prepay your tickets. Not going to be able to do any at the door. Sorry. Away she goes. So, act now. Get a cookie.